Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. As you can see by the title of the video, your girl is back again with another wig review. Shout out to Julie's hair for sponsoring today's video. So I posted a story time, what was that, like three days ago? And y'all was in my comments heavy. Y'all was asking me about this wig. Y'all wanted the details on this wig. And I posted this picture on my Instagram story the other day. And hella people was DMing me about this wig, about the color, the length, and all of that. So I'm gonna go ahead and give y'all all the details and the specs on this wig today. Make sure you go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, what are you doing what are you, what are we doing go ahead and subscribe to my channel um i did go ahead and write a few things down because y'all know your girl just be all over the place i just be talking i just be talking and i be needing guidance so i wrote some of the details down so this is a 24 um inch wig and it is true to length y'all it's honestly going all the way down to my um lace my lace <laughs> my waist is really really um long it's 24 inch i'm 5'5 five, five, and it goes down it's touching the it's touching basically like the top of my butt and i'm five five if you move shorter than me i just you know it's definitely long enough if you taller than me i would recommend getting the 28 inch i think they have i think this goes up to 28 inches but again all the details will be down in the description box below and this is in the color um t27 i did not dye this wig hello people was asking me if i dyed this wig or if they can pay me to dye wigs and i'm just like so this you're gonna be looking like a dalmatian because i i cannot dye wigs but yeah this is in the color t l27 um the lace is swiss lace and it's medium brown so if you my complexion or you a little darker than me i think this is perfect if you lighter than me you might need the bleach your lace but i personally didn't bleach the lace because it already came um pre-plugged and pre-bleached um and also it took about three to five business days to get to me i think their processing time is between seven and fourteen but i got the hair actually no i got the hair in seven days after they ship the hair it's supposed to take three to five business days so i guess it took about five days for them to um ship the hair and then i guess i got the hair in two days after they shipped it um it came with a stocking cap and it came with a band and i feel like if you in the u.s or if you around florida i feel like you'll get your wig in seven days too because they do have a warehouse in the u.s um i am going to be giving y'all a full installation because i hate when people post wig review videos and they only show the ending and it's just like sus i want to see the end in the middle of the beginning like don't just show me the end where you looking like a snack like i want to see the full thing so that's all i'm going to be giving y'all today um, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. And again, if you're interested in purchasing this wig, everything will be listed out in the... Y'all, I can't talk today. I don't know. I can't talk today. But everything will be listed down in the description box below. Let's go ahead and get into this video. So we're going to start with a little close-up. I'll be wanting to see the inside of the wig, the back of the wig, every part of the wig before I order it. So I'm assuming y'all would like to see the same. So right now, I'm just showing y'all the back. It did come with three clips, um, two on the side and one in the back. And also, it came with an elastic band. Um, that's the band right there that I'm talking about in the back. And it did come with a little lace in the back. So if you want to pull your hair up in a ponytail, you do have that option. Um, that is the lace. It's like a medium brown. I told y'all I did not bleach or do anything to the lace yet that's pretty much how it looked before i plucked it or did anything to it um it is very big head friend friendly your girl head is pretty big and that's how it looks this did come with a middle part but i do think they offer a free part or a three part if you want to part different areas they sent me a wig cap and they also sent me the little edge tire i don't know what you call it a little scarf you can put it around your edges when you want to lay it and that's the elastic bands that you can sew on yourself but i don't got time for none of that so i just use the bands that they would come with i don't ever add an elastic band unless i'm doing a glueless oh yeah and i want to show y'all how the scarf look real real pretty and ombre i did wash the scarf already and their little logo already came out came off the scarf but that's besides the point we're here to talk about the wig so this is how the wig looked when i freshly put it on again i didn't pluck it or do anything to it i'm just fitting it on my head and it fit pretty um fitted and my head is pretty big i'm gonna put my met head measurements in the comment section below because i seen somebody comment on my last video and they say that they bought 
one of the wig wigs that I purchased and they said it was like too big like they had to cut off mad lace so I'm gonna measure my head and put the measurements in the description box right now I'm just making sure the wig is fitted y'all always want to remember do not put the wig on your hairline that's the results of having no edges you want to put it a little bit above your hairline and today I'm going to be using my got to be free spray the yellow kind and my got to be glue the black bottle I don't recommend the um yellow block bottle because when it dries it dries really really tacky and you can kind of just see the glue when it dries so right now I'm just going ahead and brushing all of my hair back because when I cut the lace I don't want to cut any of the um the hairline off so I'm going to go ahead and position the wig where I want it and I'm going to use my free spray to lay the wig and again y'all make sure you put it above your hairline and not on your hairline okay so I'm spraying it I'm spraying it and I'm just combing it back y'all don't really have to take this long on this part but let me tell you, I was doing my hair for like two hours. I know this video was only like 15, 16 minutes. But in real time, your girl was doing this part for like 30 minutes. Like I wanted to make sure I didn't cut any of my hairline off. Also, I told y'all there is the middle part. As you can see, it's not really defined. They didn't really like define the middle part. So I am going to go in and conceal and pluck the part a little bit. Um, right here, I'm just adding a little bit of that got to be glue on there. This is optional. I've seen people install lace wigs with just the free spray, but I'm a little extra, y'all. I like to use the um, got to be glue, and I like to use the free spray. I'm just adding that on the hairline, again, just to, like, slick it back to make sure there's no extra hairs out. Um, again, this part is very, very optional. Um, this is just what I choose to do. I'm just like really, really loving this color. Like y'all, as soon as I put the wig on my head, I already knew that I was going to be that girl and I was going to slay this look because y'all just, just look at it. Like the color is just bomb. Once you get the wig um, laid on your head, you want to take your scarf. You don't have to use the scarf that they sent. Um, I would just prefer a silk scarf because I know when you use the cotton ones, they kind of stick to the lace when you take it off. So I'm just going to... Um, lay the scarf down and i'm just gonna blow dry it and i blow dry it for about three to five minutes you just want to blow dry it long enough for the lace to dry um again once i took that off i went in with my blow dryer again and i had to kind of like comb my edges out it just had like this i don't really know what to call it like this wet looking glue look about it so i'm just combing uh, my edges out just to get that look away like a cast type of look y'all y'all see what i'm talking about y'all y'all know what's going on so yeah i'm just gonna go ahead and comb that out to get rid of that look and then we are going to start the plucking and again the plucking part is very very optional this is just something i did because i like to over pluck as you can see the hairline does look pretty natural without any plucking or anything but i'm extra so i'm just gonna go in and pluck it a little bit Because I decided not to bleach the lace, I'm going to go in with my little contour palette. I believe this is medium to dark. And I'm just going to go ahead and put that on the hairline. Um, again, if you're lighter than me, I would definitely recommend you bleaching the lace. Because the lace is it's definitely medium. It's not transparent lace. It's not light lace. Like, don't get it confused. It's, it's, it's pretty brown. But I'm a brown girl, so it worked out fine. I just went in and added some concealer. Right now, I'm just cutting a few flaps in the front of the lace. And this part is pretty self-explanatory. Y'all just want to cut like as close as possible to the hairline without actually cutting the edges off. Um, you want to cut three tabs. I don't know why. Well, I do know why. It just makes it easier for me. But this part is also optional. If you got good eye coordination and you just want to cut it through like it's all the way down that's your prerogative but i don't have good eye coordination so i'm just gonna cut flaps in it and just do it section by section All the lace is cut off. You can see I have this white cast around the hairline, but y'all, that's completely normal. That's okay. We're just going to spray a little bit of our got to be glue on there. And again, 
putting the got to be um the black kind on there it's optional it's very very optional i'm just extra and i decided to do that and then all you're going to do is rub that into your hairline to get it flat as possible this is the part of you melting your lace like this part is very 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 um fundamental so i'm going to go ahead and tie that down i'm gonna leave it on there for about five to ten minutes and then once I take it off, you will see it's going to have this melted look and it's not going to have that white cast in the front of my hairline. See, I told y'all. So on this part right here, um, this is honestly the worst part. Like I'm not like I'm horrible at doing my baby hairs, but y'all know baby hairs are essential for me at least. Like I feel, I don't know. I don't, I don't feel cute without my baby hairs. So I'm just going to go in and, um, cut some edges this is where a lot of people mess up also you don't want to like wait let me go ahead and give y'all a disclaimer i'm no expert when it comes to the edges but i do know if you cut too much edges or if you leave too many baby's hairs out it kind of just gives it like a unnatural type of look so you don't want to leave like take too much hair out you just want to take a couple strings of hair out um again i'm just going in with my contour and just blending it in a little bit so the lace can kind of blend with my skin i'm just going to do one side on camera because it's like math what you do to one side you do to the other and y'all can pretty much just watch me and catch on to it i'm again 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 i'm no expert at doing edges i just know to not overdo it um also i would prefer using mousse which i did not do i used my got to be glue which caused a problem later on in the video um use mousse or something softer honestly you can lay your edges with water you don't want to put anything like tough on your edges because it's gonna be a problem later in the video which I'm gonna show y'all y'all so this is what i came out with that's how i did my edges i'm gonna do the other side off camera and then we're gonna come back to conceal the part um again this part is very optional but i just like my part to look more defined and look more like a scalp instead of a lace so i'm just gonna go in with my um concealer and just define my part one thing i really really love about this wig is this part this part is every inch of six inches like this part is super super deep and i don't know it just i don't know it just it just gives the wig that up like i don't know i love this part y'all oh and that's how the edges came out on the right side um right now i'm just going ahead and flattening the top usually i see people use like beeswax or they put like um some type of like thick consistency type of gel or edge control on their um part but instead i'm just gonna go ahead and flat iron mine and i used a little bit of the got to be glue on my part 
and um, that's pretty much how it came out. I'm just gonna go over it with the flat iron a little bit. Favorite um, thing about this come pretty is straight. Color. Like this Honestly, color I was surprised. Bomb. Usually like usually when I get, get version colored hair, units, it comes with like they a little dry or it. it just but looks But this hair did, come but this wig straight. So that like the coloring on this wig is bomb. But that pretty much wraps up the end of this video. All the details on this wig will be listed down in the description box below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And peace. I'll see you guys in my next video.